Hello everybody, welcome back to the Manitarium. Finally, 2021. COVID could be slowing down a little bit. We're all being real good. I hope you're being safe. Been a while since I did some videos, but we're getting right after it, right after this. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Manitarium. It's been a while since I made any videos, but I just have this winter just doesn't seem to be the the winter of feeling like doing anything. So I just kind of been hibernating. But last fall I bought this 1994 Suburban, and over the next month or so I'm going to be converting this into an overnight rig, so I can travel to um, license plate swap meets and um, flea markets, any place that I want to be. Early, there early in the morning I can just get there the night before sleep in the back and have a little bit self-contained but not to actually go like overlanding you know out camping and I have no desire to do any of that I just want to save a little bit on the motel rooms and and do it so I'm starting with this 94 Suburban 1500 I've already put a set of wheels on it that to make it look a little nicer and I got even a vanity plate plate rescue so I'm kind of giving this old red girl a look but um, yeah it's just a plain Jane it used to be a school vehicle it doesn't have the fancy seats carpet or nothing like that it um, is a 5.7 throttle body with the turbo 400 or excuse me 700 R4 transmission I've already started stripping the back I'll go into more detail with that in a little bit but yep she's got the, her dings and whistles but I don't know how much I'm going to use this vehicle that I'm making um, purpose built for doing this this one seems rock solid drivable but it's not um, cosmetically the most beautiful thing so it starts off at a cheaper price and I plan on doing the inside and gain knowledge and, and um, what works for me and what doesn't it's a little bit different I'm a little bit different I'm six foot five 290 pounds so it takes I take up a lot of space but like I said I'm just trying to make it so I can pull into uh, um, where there's a flea market camping and stay there overnight get up go to the flea market then go home drive home the next day so we'll get working on this in a second here the beauty of this old turd is that it already looks like it's been broken into so why would anybody steal anything out of it <laughs> But um, yeah, this I got. Hopefully, got a line on the couple doors. I'm gonna go check them out in the next couple days. Put some different doors on it. Inside the back here, we have. I've taken all the side panels out already. We're getting a little humidity in here, but fog. But the um, there we go. But I've taken the side panels out both sides I'm gonna take them seats out yet so I can get the full length I could have left I thought about leaving one side in but it's just me and if somebody wants to travel with me then I still have a full bench seat in the front so I'm good there so it works better for me just to get rid of them and I'll take get rid of that jack storage there remove all this I've already removed the, the headliner and by doing so I'm going to get it to where I can insulate it I'm going to be doing some kind of wood on the top and on the side glass. I'll be covering the side glass. It'll have a um, flooring insulated on the floor also. These doors, the new doors, if I get some, will be insulated on the inside. Not so much for the heat or to make it warmer because these are actually harder in the summertime because of the amount of um, sun baking into it. They just get too hot. So if I insulate as much as this as possible and get as much storage, I think I'm going to do a single bed on this side and then um, just walk said so this will all be a wall here, see so privacy. And then on this side here, I will be doing some kind of storage compartments, possibly with a maybe a small sink in the back side here that if I want to um, put a freshwater jug and then just go into the sink. And, um, and the gray, gray water hose going on the ground because it would just be for like brushing my teeth in the morning or whatever. I don't have any hair, so I don't have to wash my hair. Anyway, so I have, 
I shave it, I guess. <laughs> but it would be okay overnight. I have an electric razor. But anyway, the, um, then these back windows would be covered with, there'd be insulation and, and um, some kind of board over the, that to, to make all this kind of thing. And underneath the, the, this bed would be a big rollout drawer. I don't know if you can envision. This will be about six inches high, and there'll be a rollout drawer to um, access stuff like the jack and any other supplies that I need. And I'll be able to, since the bed's only going on one side, this will be my entrance door to the, the, the house part of this build. The seat will be gone, and then I'll be able just to crawl up in here, sit on the thing, take my shoes off. This will be where my shoes sit down here in this, this area. And um, yeah, we'll see. And I'll probably add a little bit of 12 volt um, non or house battery system. Not necessarily solar at this time. Probably just, you know, it'll charge off of the, be isolated from the 12 volt charging system to charge when the vehicle's running. That way I don't end up with a dead, dead battery overnight. I'll probably put a whole house fan in the, in the ceiling like a camper has. That way it sucks some of the heat out of it in the, on a summer night. But yep, you know, this is going to be, um, sure it's not going to be fuel efficient, but it is a big motor home. And a big motor home I would never use other than the same thing. So why not have a smaller footprint that I can put in the garage um, and I can still um, put a, I probably will custom build a back bumper for this with a hitch built into it. And then I'll have a swing away. Um, spare tire mount so I can get that off of out of the inside I don't necessarily want to mount it on the roof on the roof I'm probably going to put a, a um, like a ladder rack up here from front to back this is like I said this plain Jane Suburban does not have a um, factory rack on it so it allows me to do anything and I'll just make something I'll just make something that's what I do anyway and um, so I'll be able to haul a lot of stuff up there from cheap the plywood to to um tables if i wanted to sell at a flea market i could put the tables up there i used to sell off of just to give me more room and this side since the bed will be coming in this pass the driver's side rear this bed platform will come up like this there'll be under storage here that i might be able to put like a um a jackery um battery system one of them all in one battery system so you can just have 12 volt at your power here and uh, put some LED lights in it and yep it's going to be I don't have a lot in it but you know worst comes to worst I can throw it away better than buying an expensive camper and just letting the roof leak and going to hell anyway so well that's what my future in is going to be with this thing if you got any questions be sure to leave them or any um, suggestions and um yeah um don't forget to like share subscribe and we're gonna see where the travels go with this thing you know we we'll just that's all we can do is have some fun 2020 wasn't much of a fun year but maybe we can make something out of 2021 thanks for stopping like share subscribe see you soon bye